Good morning, fellow riders, roadies, family, and friends. Like so many of you, I am riding my bike from San Francisco to Los Angeles to honor someone I've lost. My father, Hubert Owen Porter, died on August 31st, 1988, after a hard two-year fight with AIDS. Those two years were a devastating time to live in the Castro, and after losing his partner and most of his friends, men who had helped to raise me, my dad's body and spirit simply couldn't take it anymore. As a testament to true American family values, my mother, <laughs> His brother and I were with him for his last days, and even 25 years later, his presence is felt and deeply missed. So I am riding this week to buy time. Another victim, another day of breath, and a family, another day with someone they love. In addition to honoring my father, I'm back after an eight-year break from ALC because the sheer joy of being part of this community at the time of my first ride, I was a theater professor at Syracuse University in Western New York. <laughs> I somehow got 11 of my students to commit to riding with me, several of whom had never ridden a bike before. New Yorkers. In our group was one young man who joined us primarily because he thought it would be a great way to get in shape. He had grown up sheltered in the South, had never seen California, and was the kind of young college male who normally would not be very comfortable on red dress day. <laughs> As the ride progressed, I watched this young man awaken to the community and world around him. He photographed everyone and everything and was shocked by the very existence of migrant workers in the field. He started riding out early with the positive peddlers, and prided himself on helping people up hills with a strong and motivating hand. On night six at the candlelight vigil, as he stood next to me, as we put our candles in the ocean, he turned to me and said, Lisa, I wanna confess that I did this ride to get in shape, but now I know that my purpose here is to give other people more time on earth. This was not the same kid who had left San Francisco and after graduation, he went on to join the Peace Corps. I tell this story to illustrate how the AIDS life cycle community can teach us how generous and how good we can be. It's those little moments of grace every day. Someone's hand on your back on Quad Buster. Someone's voice blasting out show tunes to keep you going in the late afternoon. You know who you are. Someone you've never met cheering you on from a lawn chair and handing you red vines. That's what makes this week healing, inspiring, and life-affirming. And if this is your first time, I'm so happy that you're going to get to experience it with fresh eyes. I recommend riding at chatting speed, stopping for artichokes, committing public acts of butt balming, <laughs> and enjoying every moment of being present and alive. I'm especially happy to be back this time riding with my younger sister, Hallie. <laughs> Before she moves back to the East Coast with her family, we are leaving kids with fathers and grandmothers and we ride to remember my daddy, to remember his entire community of friends, and to let the world know that AIDS is still here and affecting families just like ours. And since my 14-year-old daughter has told me that soon she wants to ride from San Francisco to LA to honor her grandfather, whom she never met. Maybe I'll be back again. On behalf of my dad and our entire family, thank you for taking this long bike ride with my sister and me. Please say hi out on the road 
and I look forward to experiencing your inner diva on Red Dress Day. Thank you.